Applications. This material is not on the AP Physics 2 test, it's supplemental. There are many applications of mirrors and lenses, and three will be presented. The telescope, the camera, and the human eye. Telescopes are used to observe objects that are at a great distance from the observer. All types of electromagnetic radiation can be viewed depending on the telescope. Visible light, infrared, ultraviolet, radio waves, x-rays, and gamma rays. Only telescopes that observe visible light will be described here. Optical telescopes use spherical and flat mirrors and lenses to magnify objects at a distance so they can be viewed. The three types of telescopes are reflecting, refracting, and catadioptric. Light from distant objects enters the telescope through the aperture. It's collected by a primary concave mirror at the back, which reflects it, concentrating and focusing the light from the image. The aperture and primary mirror can be very large, which enables the system to collect a great deal of light so that faint light from the objects can be seen. Some telescopes have mirrors that are 8 meters in diameter. After the primary mirror focuses the light, it travels to the secondary flat mirror, which continues to focus the light until it strikes a focal point of the eyepiece lens, which is a double convex lens. The eyepiece magnifies the real upright image for viewing. Here's a refracting telescope. Incoming light passes through a convex lens, which is called the objective lens, which focuses the light rays at its focal point here, producing a real image. This is also the focal point for a second, smaller convex eyepiece lens. The aperture and the two lenses pass more light than a person's eyes could collect. The eyepiece lens creates a clear, inverted, magnified virtual image for the eye. And finally, catadioptric telescopes. Light passes through a convex corrector lens and strikes the primary mirror, which reflects the light back to the secondary mirror. The secondary mirror focuses the light at its focal point, which is also the focal point for the convex eyepiece lens. The light is now in focus for the eye. These telescopes are shorter than other telescopes as the light travels a greater distance in the body of the telescope. They also produce the clearest images of any telescope. Telescope optics, the mirrors and lenses, need to be made perfectly smooth with no defects so that the light is not prevented from going straight through in meeting at the focal point. The defect is known as an optical aberration where the image is blurry. It is easier to make mirrors for reflecting telescopes without optical aberrations than it is to make lenses for refracting telescopes. Reflecting telescopes are much lighter and cheaper to make. Most astronomers use reflecting telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are both reflecting telescopes. They are in orbit around the Earth, so incoming light from the universe is not distorted by the Earth's atmosphere. Here is a camera. A schematic of a simplified camera is shown. The aperture is adjusted to let in the desired amount of light. The light passes through a convex lens that focuses a demagnified, inverted, real image onto an image screen. The screen can contain photosensitive paper to make a physical picture. Increasingly, this has been replaced by a charged couple device, CCD, which uses an integrated circuit to convert the image to a digital signal. Multiple lenses are part of a more sophisticated camera that takes better pictures with higher resolution. It uses various convex and concave lenses. The human eye is a complex, greatly evolved part of the body. Light enters through the cornea, where the amount of light is controlled by the opening and closing of the pupil by the iris, the colored part of the eye. The light passes through the pupil and through the lens. The lens focuses the light onto the retina. Two types of molecules in the retina, rods and cones, react to the light and send signals to the optic nerve. There are approximately 120 million rods in the eye, and they are very sensitive to light but cannot distinguish colors. There are only 6 to 7 million cones, but they're sensitive to light and provide color vision. 
The optic nerve is directly connected to the brain, which then interprets the image for the person. Common disorders of the eye, nearsightedness and farsightedness, result from the eye's lens not focusing light rays onto the retina. A person who is farsighted can see far distances, but not close up without a convex or biconvex lens. The lens focuses the near distances onto the retina. A person who is nearsighted can see close up distances, but not far distances without a concave or biconcave lens. The lens focuses the far distances onto the retina.